Hey guys, welcome to part 13 of my Discord PY making a Discord bot in Python YouTube series. I know, I know, you guys are gonna comment. Hey Lucas, you haven't made a video on Discord bots in forever, and you're in the middle of a different series. What the what the heck is going on here? And uh, to that, um, I'll explain it. I mean, I'll probably post it in like a little, one of those little community tab posts on the channel. Like if you click the channel, I think it's the community tab, uh, you can see little posts. I'll probably make one there uh, either before or after I upload the video. Either way, by the time you guys are watching it, it'll probably be there or will be there very soon. But um, anyways, let's just get into the video. And uh, again, if you are curious as to why this video is being made or why there's kind of a big jump, uh, I can let you know in the community tab. So uh, again, in this video, we are going to be going over converters. Uh, so what is a converter? Well, have you ever been making your Discord bot? and you pass in a value as a parameter for your command, but you have to do a little bit of parsing to turn it into something more useful, right? Because you might get it in as a string, maybe an integer, who, know, who knows what you're getting at? Maybe as a certain Discord object, but you just want to have a bit more flexibility with how you're parsing your arguments, maybe to allow different types, et cetera, et cetera, who knows? Um, a converter is essentially just a class that you can have your argument passed in as, as a type of that class, and that converter Will then run a convert method and convert your argument into your more usable type. And this way it kind of makes your code a little bit more modular, makes it a little bit easier to read, and uh, it's just all around a relatively helpful thing that I have found with regards to making a Discord bot. So first things first, let's take a look at the documentation for a converter. I actually have it right here. So let me just drag that over here. Let me make sure it's popping up on OBS. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so as you can see here, this is the base class for custom converters. We'll go into creating a custom converter. But as you can see here, there's also a couple of built-in ones that the uh, that Discord PY kind of has created for you. And we'll, we'll show how to use one of them, probably the member converter one here. But um, yeah, so as you can see here, there's documentation for it. Um, every converter class has this convert method, and the convert method is what actually takes in the argument and returns the value that presumably would be more usable to you, right? So anyways, let's go back into the code here. Okay, so let's create, oops, let's create our class, or not our class, our command. So for the sake of this demonstration of a converter, I'm going to be creating a band command, all right? Very simple, I've showed it actually in a previous video. So let's type that out real quick. So we're gonna do at, whoops, bot.command, async def ban, we need to pass in the context and we're going to take in a member and we are actually going to take in a commands.member converter object. All right, so now we can continue on with this and we'll just do await ctx.guild.ban and then we'll just take the member and maybe we'll put a message actually. So we'll say, I don't know, member has been banned. Pretty straightforward, right? So again, let's let's actually take a look at what this member converter does because we didn't look at that too much. So let me pull up the docs again. Here we go. So all lookups, no wait, this is the second thing, converts to a member, right? So for those of you using uh, a band command, whoops, uh, you might be doing something like discord dot, whoops, member. And essentially what this does is your command works perfectly fine because you're getting your member object, but what you do, what you have to do to actually use the command is you have to mention the member itself, right? So, you know, maybe you'll have your member in your server, your test account, so you'll do, uh, in this case, command prefix is a period or a dot, so I'll just do dot ban space at test account, right? And that'll work. But what if I wanted to convert different arguments to a member object, right? So again, if we go back to this here, we can see here, we can actually look up using IDs. We can mention the member. We can look up using the name and discriminator. We can look up just using the name and we can look up using a nickname. And this is actually the order of which the converter works. So for, for example, I pass in anything as an argument, right? And it'll say, okay, can I get the member using the argument as an ID? Okay, no. Can I get it using it as a mention? Okay, no. Can I get it as a name and discriminator combination? Okay, yeah, maybe that was what I put in. So great, let's find the member and return it, right? So 
Let's go back here. Whoops. Let's go back here and we'll change this back. So member converter. So we'll save this and we're going to run it. Actually, I didn't open up my command line here. Let me do this a different way. Let me bring that over here just so I'm not uh, you know, showing you all my files here. So let me just navigate to my YouTube folder. I accidentally opened Spotify. <laughs> all right, command prompt here. So if I do python bot.py, so it should be up and running. So now let me go over to my test, or test server here. So this is that. And if I do just dot help, as we can see, there is the ban command. You might've heard the sound there. It's because I have that test account there, which I'm going to use to actually ban. So if I do dot ban, and I try to do something like, for example, let's, let's copy the ID, ban. As you can see, it actually banned using the ID, right? And it said this right here. So actually, let me try to unban. So let's go here, unban. Let me invite this thing back. Let me just drag this over here for a second. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> just a lot of copying and inviting. So copy and paste, cool. All right, I can bring this back. So test account is back. Let's try banning them just by saying, um, what else? I guess they don't have a nickname and it might not work since they have a space, but either way, you, you get what I'm saying. Actually, let's give them a nickname. Let's try um, just test, right? So if I do dot, dot ban test, oh, you're gonna send? There we go, see, it actually worked. So that's just kind of a little bit of the power that a converter can give you. Um, it's pretty useful and that's that's pretty much it. So let me bring this up. Actually, I can turn off the bot for now. Okay, cool. So that is essentially just your introduction to using a converter and that is one of the built-in ones. But let's say we wanna create our own custom converter, right? So I'm gonna make a minor tweak to this command here. I'm actually going to make it a temp ban command and so a temp ban, you know, is when you ban and then unban after a certain duration, but we need to actually take in that duration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say duration is, I don't know, duration converter. We are actually going to create this. So again, let's look back at the docs. Here it is, right? And so again, we need to have this convert method that takes in an argument and then we'll return whatever, um, I guess whatever that we want to get back from the argument itself. So for example, uh, how we actually, what we would get back from this duration, how we use it within this function here. All right. So again, a function, a method to override, to do conversion logic, it takes in the context argument, et cetera, et cetera. It raises uh, some errors as well. You can do that yourself. We're not gonna go into that sort of stuff um, in this tutorial, but it's, it's there, and again, there's it's all in the docs, so you can take a look there. So I'm just gonna drag this over here. Oh, oh okay, sorry. Anyways, so we're gonna create our duration converter. So we're gonna say class duration, okay, well, converter, and we are going to actually have it inherit commands.converter, right? Because it needs to be the base, commands.converter, if you remember from the docs, it needs to be the base class, right? So now we are going to create the convert method of this class. So we're gonna say async def convert self, and then we're gonna put the context and we're gonna do argument. I hope I can spell right. Okay, so this is essentially going to take whatever we pass in as duration and spit out whatever we want to get as duration. Right? So, I don't know, maybe we'll format our durations as something like, um, if we want like one minute, we'll just do like one M, right? So we'll, hmm. So I guess the last uh, character of the argument will be like the unit, and then everything before that would presumably be um, numbers being, I guess, the amount of that unit. Sorry, I thought I had a burp. <laughs> would be the amount of that unit. So what we'll do is we'll say amount, is equal to argument and we'll take everything except for the last uh, character. So everything up to the last character and then the unit will be the argument uh, at or will only take the last character. 
and then we'll say if the amount is a digit, right? Because we want to know that the amount is strictly numbers. We, we're not gonna deal with floats or anything like that or having, you know, 1.3 minutes, anything crazy like that. We're not gonna do anything like that. But uh, if it is a digit, so for example, like three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, who knows, um, then good. Uh, and then we can say, and unit in, uh, we'll do like minutes whoops, and hours. I'm probably not gonna demonstrate hours because that would take forever. Actually, you know what? Let's do uh, minutes and seconds just because I can demonstrate the seconds. Minutes is also kind of long. But um, so if both of these are valid, so the amount is a number or, or is a string of numbers and the unit is either an S or an M, right? Then we can maybe return a tuple and we'll say, uh, we'll actually return the integer of amount and we'll return the unit. So we'll get a tuple kind of like if we do one M, oops, one M, it'll spit out something like one M like that. And that'll be all fine and dandy. And I guess actually we could add in our uh, raise commands, bad argument with like a message. I don't know, not a valid duration. I don't know. So now our duration should work, right? I would, I would imagine I didn't create any errors here, but we'll find out when we actually test this out. So let's kind of change this around a little bit. So first things first, we need to add a couple things for the sake of a temp ban command, or at least, here, let me change this to temp ban. So we'll say, uh, we'll create a little multiplier table, and we're gonna say seconds are going to have a multiplier of one, and minutes are going to have a multiplier of 60. Also, oh wait, I do have async IO already imported. Whoops. But um, oh yeah, we're going to need async IO because we're going to be using async IO.sleep, and that is essentially going to sleep for an amount of seconds, and this multiplier will determine how many seconds. So we're going to have our multiplier. We are also going to just say amount and unit equals duration. That way, since again, we're getting the amount here, the unit here, it's just easier to use as opposed to using duration at index zero and duration at index one, just kind of makes it a bit more readable. And so first things first, we're gonna ban the member and we're gonna say member has been banned, let's say uh, for amount unit. So if they've been banned for one minute, it'll say member has been banned for one M, right? And then we'll say await async io dot sleep and then we'll do amount because if we're having one minute, we or let's let's even say like five minutes, right? So we want five times multiplier at unit because multiplier at unit is, is 60, right? And five times 60 is 300. So if we sleep for 300 seconds, we're sleeping for five minutes, right? And then at the end of it, we want to do await CTX killed, whoops, unban member. And we don't need a message for that really. So um, let's see, so we've created our multiplier, we've uh, kind of just made this a little bit more readable. We ban, we send our little meshes, message saying the ban has gone through. We sleep for the amount of time of the temp ban and then we unban. Uh, and then again, we do this conversion here where we take our argument as a string, right? We take everything up until the last character and we just say this should be a, a, a string full of digits. Okay, I actually did have a tiny burp there. <laughs> but this should be a string full of digits and the last character should be either an S or an M. And you know, if you're doing this for your actual bot, you can add hours, days, weeks, years, months, I don't know, however long you want. You're just gonna need to create several more multipliers. And also if you're having other commands like maybe a temp mute command, you also probably wouldn't wanna have the multiplier um, rewritten in every single function. So you might want to create like a little helper function or maybe do it in the conversion, who knows. Um, but yeah, just something to think about. But um, yeah, so if it's a digit, good. And if the unit is seconds or minutes, good. And then we just return a tuple with the information. If it's neither of them, then we can raise an error. That's not too important for the sake of demonstration purposes. Um, but we're just gonna see how we can get this temp band command working. So let me go over here, start up the bot again. Let me just make sure the test account is in the server. It is not, so give me one more second, one more time. Oh, 
I don't think it unbanned, or I unbanned it after that second time. I know you can't see it just yet. Here, I'll drag it over here. Okay. So test account is back. So if we do dot help, as we can see, we now have our temp ban command, right? And if you remember, our temp ban command takes in a member and a duration. So if we wanted to do something like uh, temp ban test account, I'm not gonna bother doing any weirdo, like using the ID or using a nickname just because I've demonstrated it already. And again, if we look over here, it's still using the member converter. So I could, if I wanted to, um, but temp ban test account. And then we are going to do something like, I don't know, 15 seconds. So test account has been banned for 15 seconds. If you want to look over here, the test account has been kicked out of, well, the only server it was in. And so I don't know how long it's been. You might want to mentally count in your head, but um, yeah, I don't know, we'll get it. Oh, okay, there we go, it was removed. So presumably that was 15 seconds. Um, <laughs> I didn't count properly in my head, but um, we know that the unbanning and unbanning works. We know that it worked for a certain delay. If, you know what? Let's actually just try it one more time. We'll do it for like five seconds. All right, so 10, eh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So test account and we'll do, okay, eight seconds. I feel like that's a balance between really fast and really slow. So eight seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, there we go, perfect. So yeah, it seems to be working. So there you go, that's essentially how you create your own custom converter. That is essentially how, you know, to use converters in general. And now you know that there's a couple of built-in ones here. We didn't look through all of them, but um, there's member converters, there's user converter, what else? Message, partial, partial message converter. I haven't used all of these, but theoretically they should work relatively the same. They all have that convert function. Uh, and these are just some that are built in. You know, you can just take a read through the documentation, see what goes in, see what goes out, um, see what you can do with them and maybe make some better use of it and make your bot a little bit better. So that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did leave a like comment down below for future video suggestions. I am, you know, making discord PY videos again. So I do kind of have to learn, you know, what's new with uh, Discord PY, but once I learn a couple things, then, you know, I can get back to teaching you guys. I've got one idea for the next video, but then I'm kind of, you know, run out of ideas again. But again, comment down below. Discord link is going to be in the cert or in the description, so you can join that and come chat or give video ideas or get some help with any of the video tutorials. But, um, oh, and the um, community post for, you know, why I'm skipping uh, or why I'm posting a Discord PY video instead of the data structures video. That will be there pretty soon, if not as soon as the video is up. So yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, bye.